Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to the Curious Expedition. Uh, now if I'm interpreting these symbols correctly, I think uh, that this one is a, from left to right, a mission, then a village, then maybe a tomb, and then a shrine, and then another thing that I don't know what it is, maybe that's a tomb. I don't know what the difference between the third and the fourth one is, maybe they're just both different kinds of shrines? Maybe one of them is the kind of shrine that you have to climb, and the other one is a normal shrine. Um, this one looks like it probably doesn't have a village in it. It looks like just a mission. And this one looks like it has a mission, and I don't know what the blue... The thing with the blue, the second slot, might be a traitor? I don't know. So I think I want to go here, because I think this has the largest number of uh, people to deal with. And that's really what I'm looking for. All right. A woman approached me with a request. She told me about her missing husband, a former adventurer who failed to return from his last expedition. She begged me to try and find him, and if he was alive, help him safely back into her arms. Yeah, okay. Find the missing husband. Okay, who wants to come with us? This is a question. So we could bring a soldier or a diplomat who decreases prices when bartering and actually is a fighter. Or a cultist, who is a coca expert and a fighter. I think let's bring a, let's bring a combat -y dipl- Oh no, actually our track's full, isn't it? We picked up a, uh, we picked up a replacement for our suicided artist. Yeah, oh thanks, we're good. We're all good here, man. How are you? So I don't know if this, um, the description on this thing says does not stack, but I don't know if that means do just does not stack with other animal handlers, or if it means does not stack with animal handlers and also does not stack with improved capacity. Uh, anyway, let's look for equipment first. Weather balloons that can collect interesting scientific data. I don't know what that means from a mechanic's perspective. Uh, let's bring food, though. We should definitely bring food. And our painter's dead... So if we made paintings, they would be a lot less valuable. Let's skip it. We'll bring a shovel in case we find a treasure map. And some medical supplies are probably a good idea. And then, like, two machetes. If this party's going to be engaging in combat, it behooves us to bring medical supplies. Although, you know, we are doing actually pretty well as far as uh, not getting hit goes. Let's bring a weather balloon because I'm curious. Deal. Yeah, we've had pretty good luck. This hunting rifle is really quite powerful. It's allowed us to defeat a couple of enemies without having to actually uh, take any hits. All right, let's refill the water. See, so now we have plus two standing. I don't know. We had a translator the whole time. Is it because we have a native? Is it because we have a translator plus a native? I don't know. Anyway, let's all just be happy about the uh, about the extra inventory space. So what is this? It is a temple. Okay. After a long day of traveling, we approached an ancient temple that was built right into the face of a mountain. So these temples have actually been pretty good for us in the past. A massive altar stood, stood in its center. We saw a glass chalice containing a strange liquid standing in the center of the altar. Somebody should drink from it. Well, who are we? We're definitely keeping Yigi Call on, right? The, like, this is the idea. So this is probably some kind of blessing. Uh, he protested initially, but then slowly drank the mysterious potion. Immediately, his eyes lit up, and he looked at me with an almost relieved expression on his face. Afterward, he seemed particularly peaceful and quiet, as if naught could trouble his mind any more. He's gained pure mind, immune to any kind of mind sickness. That's cool. And then, of course, the massive stone plate lowers behind us as we leave, and there's no way back inside. But that, uh, that's pretty neat. I'm happy about that. So that symbol means temples. That's important. We definitely want to be on the lookout for that. A trader does indeed have a blue tent. Alright. He hesitated before presenting us with, us with a selection of his wares. It might just be that it's random whether you get the traders that are really eager to give you stuff. Uh, do I want any of his stuff? Costin flares would be cool to have. 
Oh, I, when I was buying first aid kits, I forgot about this mushroom. So I could just trade the mushroom straight up for two flares. Let's do that. Uh, and yeah, I guess we'll cut through some forest. We'll use those two machetes that we brought, right? It's just a stone statue. We probably will not take the stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to take a standing penalty. Well, actually, you know what? I can, I can go ahead and do that. Now, because it doesn't cost me standing to stay at the villages. It's no longer quite as dangerous as it once was. Uh, let's approach the village from this side, because then I can leave without having to go through more hills. Oh, it's not a village at all. It's hot springs. We can stay here, though. Right, let's rest overnight. Oh, no. There was an unnatural quietness to the night as we sat and stared into the fire. We had already spent a, spare, uh, a fair while in the lofty climbs of the region, but it was now too much for Cuthbert Jolly to handle. How did I not notice that that dude's name is Cuthbert Jolly? He urged me, not, he urged me to not spend more time in these scary heights. We really weren't that high up. Alright, so what's your deal now? You're afraid of heights all of a sudden? I understand. I, I got a touch of that myself. Alright, well let's leave because he's being a baby. Oh, you send up a weather balloon and it shows you a thing? It shows you a, a, a discoverable, maybe? That's kind of cool. Uh, let's try to approach this from the south. So we'll come around this side. We have hyenas. I'm not worried about hyenas. I think we can handle ourselves. I think we can take some hyenas. Also, there's a chance they won't even, uh, won't even aggro on us. Although I think I want them to. More... Oh, and she gained a blue die. That's cool. More pack space, obviously. It's my favorite thing ever. Uh, this stuff is not worth taking standing hits over. Do I want to fight that hyena? Nah, not enough to go back for it. Ooh, hello. We approached an old campsite. To our surprise, it was not vacant. Someone had survived here for a seemingly very long time. He introduced himself as Richard Borton and told us of how his team had perished against the challenge of stranding him out here alone. I knew this was the missing husband we had asked. We had been asked to return home. Oh no, he's a cannibal. Oh uh, boy. I told him about his wife and that we would escort him home. His mind had obviously cracked under the protracted absence from civilization. I assured him that everything would be fine and told my team to pack up and prepare to leave. So we now have too many people in our track, right? Or no? Okay, he doesn't actually count as a person. Good. That That's good. That would be kind of annoying. I was prepared to dismiss somebody for the sake of a quest, but I'm really glad that we don't have to. Okay, there's a gorilla over here, and the gorillas are actually quite terrifying. So let's try to avoid that. Let's also try to avoid going to sleep with this asshole of the party. Um, compass progress is not actually high enough to, for it to be giving us any information yet. Let's see what's around here. Let's get up on this hillside. Up on this hilltop, rather. And yes, I know. Jolly's freaking out. He's just gonna have to deal. Alright. Well, there's a thing over here. Could be interesting. There's a thing over here, but we'd have to go through the gorilla to get it. The gorilla, as I remember, gorillas are, are pretty scary. Even with our guns, I think we would maybe be in a little bit of danger. Yeah, whatever. Danger? I laugh at danger. The gorilla appears to be fleeing. Um, we do have one red die. But who's producing this good red die? Is it... Morton? We haven't studied the people here yet. The thing we would get out of this temple would be worth more than that. Let's... let's not do this yet. So let's try to get to the north, I guess. Ugh, this sucks. It's very heavily wooded and mountained here. Okay. I wanted to get the drop on him, so I had to click fairly quickly there. Okay. 
That's a planned shot. This is a masterful shot. Alright, we did a lot of damage there. So that's a stable shot. This gives me one point of shield. He has how much health left? Six? Alright, I think we can get him. Come on, show me some hands. Ah. We leave him alive. He gets to... He gets to maul us, and then we have to... Uh, do some medical supplies. Oh, and of course he hits two different people. What a jerk. Well, finish him off. I've never actually killed a gorilla before. Yeah, let's go ahead and use our med kits. Not have to worry about infected wounds. I could probably wait. But I don't want to, so there. Oh, hey, a village! Alright. Uh, as we entered the village, we witnessed the villagers dancing and chanting around a mysterious looking idol. We tried not to disturb these rites while unpacking our crates. Okay. Let us, first of all, see what they have to trade. Some pretty good stuff, actually. They don't value these elephant tusks very highly. I don't value this raw meat very highly. We will reach some kind of agreement. And actually, the animal teeth are better used for this. Uh, than they are for selling. I should complete thoughts when I start to speak. Uh, gorilla paws are equally well used for both things. Uh, we could take some rope from them. That might be a good idea. Well, we don't have any torches. Yeah, this'll do. Actually, we should probably do this. We only have one med kit left. Deal. And then let us rest here. Uh, we unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives. I think we should be okay. I doubt Bort Borton's going to eat anybody while we're staying in the village. Alright, we got 80 sanity back. Uh, I got a splendid night's rest. The next morning I woke to face gathered natives. It seemed my bedraggled morning appearance intrigued them. We seemed welcome here. They remained kind and gestured for us to find comfort in their settlement. An elderly woman placed some fruits by the idol. That's... that's fine. The natives stared at me distrustfully as I departed their village. The subsequent day I had the uncomfortable feeling of being watched. Boy, they turned around on us really quickly there. I'm really nervous about having this guy around. Do we have torches? We don't. But, we have a lot of eyes. Okay. Might as well look inside while we're here. Sounds very reasonable. This expedition will not be dejected by a lack of torches. Our march into the darkness began. Despite our folly, we somehow made it through the darkness without anyone becoming injured. We found a concealed passage. Uh, this I'm a little more nervous about. I feel like we just got into a really good place. Let's send in Jolly. Oh my god, we didn't roll an eye. So he just doesn't come back, right? Ah, uh, crap. We gotta leave this cave. We cannot afford to mess around here. We have so many eyes, man. Alright, let's look this way. I have no idea what to do. This is a really awkward path that's opening before us. Okay, this is better. So that goes into a dead end. And we have a couple of uh, a couple of places we can visit here. Let's just go ahead and use all that. The tiger will probably aggro on us. Alright, let us enter the shrine. The potential source of this heat was disconcerting. So we're about to start a big fire, basically. You know, we'll be alright. We already stayed in the village. My standing is a lot less important to me than it once was. I think we're going to drop the shovel? Yeah. Uh, what is going on here? No, do not put a waypoint down there. I don't... I don't... Can't imagine why you would think I would want a waypoint down there. Let's see what's up here. 
This could be the Golden Pyramid, honestly. It is. Do I want to just leave? Oh, I'm out of food. And I have seven sanity. Yes, I suppose so. Uh, we will mourn the loss of our sailor. He was a guy who was real good at carrying crates, which is the greatest compliment that I know how to give a human being. Okay. Uh, I... <laughs> I realized as the text was drawing, I was like, oh god, what if it requires a moonstone? But we're alright, we're alright, everything's fine. Honestly, I feel like I didn't do all that well there, in terms of loot. No idea how, but a character with this perk finds a bullet somewhere every couple of days, that's pretty good. Um, I don't think we need an extra standing bonus, we're doing just fine on standing. Let's, let's take bullet hoarder. We've been fighting a lot of stuff, and bullets are useful for trade as well. Tesla is generating a lot of fame on every expedition. Okay, so we're going to sell these for 60, these for another 40, this for another 60. We can afford to gift everything else, I think. Because that's going to put us at 160. And then gift and gift. We've got a fairly comfortable lead. A golden pyramid can be found in this region. So those left two both look like villages to me. This looks pretty compelling. Uh, yeah, I think that we're going to the Guajaja Drylands. I'm very excited. Okay, we did it. We found the missing husband, and he didn't even eat any of us. They embraced passionately, crying tears of relief. I could not help but think that Richard Borton acted peculiar, grabbing and holding his wife a bit too hard, almost strangling her in the process. I sincerely hoped the best for them. Yeah, that's going to be a real strained relationship. A trader greeted me this morning. He was a tr collector of sorts and promised to compensate me favorably for any instruments that we retrieved. Okay, and we've been offered a recruit. I think Tim Timster might be a good way to go. Uh, Chauncey Adkey gives us sanity gain from fighting. That's actually kind of interesting. Kleptomania is a problem, but it's curable. Tim Timster brings a blue dye and his dog's brown dye. I think I, I'm going to try the, having a British soldier. I don't think we've ever done that before. Uh, and let's purchase some equipment. Okay, I love to find some of those. Uh, we lost our sailor. So these costume flares are kind of unimpressive now. We still need supplies, quote-unquote supplies. Uh, we definitely want to bring machetes and ropes. This stuff is just really useful. Bring a climbing gear, a couple of shovels, a few torches. We have not been bringing dynamite very much. Let's bring a dynamite or two so we have the option. Man, I think I just hold the rest of my funds. Like, I really... I'm over-preparing already, I feel like. Yeah, we'll, uh... We'll do that. Deal. Uh... We, we can stow some stuff in the ship. Let's head out. So I haven't actually done that yet. <laughs> just kept things in the ship. We probably actually don't want to take everything with us all the time. So let's figure out what would be safe to store. We could store these costume flares. I was going to use them for trade, but uh, they only have five value each. So let us access ship storage. Put away these. Do I want to bring all of this stuff, actually? It's really unfortunate that this is two slots of stuff. I think the rest of this stuff is more justified in bringing. Alright. So we could pump this guy's sanity gain up, but I'm going to save up and keep working on Yig Call. Yig Call. Yig Call? Yig Call. Something. Something like that. Let's go use our climbing gear here. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay, perfect. 
This may bring hostile animals, and we are ready. Uh, the bleak and foreboding place was located in the midst of a swamp, scattered with the remains of long-dead elephants. For some unfathomable reason, many generations of the majestic creatures had come here to die. Alright, let's uh, get some tusks. And nope, we didn't trigger any, any animals. Man. That's pretty rough. I think I'm going to toss one of... One of these. Let's... Oh. No, I meant to pick it up so that I could get rid of it. Alright. Yeah, I'm a little... I'm a little concerned. Marked bullets. Wait, these are... Okay, these ones don't add... Uh, don't cost weight capacity. Alright, let's have a look at the stone. Is there anything here that is worth... Nope. Close. We only have two standing to start with on this one, so it uh, makes sense to be a little bit careful. It's so green. Why is it so green here? Okay, a shrine. Let's not hit the shrine just yet. Let's go ahead and expend some... Uh, some machetes here. Oh no, I didn't. Uh, yeah, some Antata told us that she'd been so nervous that she dropped something during her last leg, and then the donkey just spoke. I have stuff. There's no reason for me to go to low sanity. Just not, just carelessness, man. Not good. So we lost our cool bullets. We lost our free bullets. Let's head this way, and we'll use the climbing gear to crest another one of these hills. Uh-oh. Uh, why don't you move through here? Let's not walk next to the water tiles, shall we? Okay, that was helpful. Let's explore this old campsite. We found costume flares and beans. We'll take the costume flares and just use them. And also, we will uh, encounter some hyenas. Let's fight the hyenas. We should be fairly good at this. So these guys only have six health each. Uh, let's hold the shield. Mm, I don't like that very much. Let's try one more time. I'm looking for a sword or a gun. Oh, there's no, uh, there's no combination with... I need these other dice with the gun, really? With the pistol, rather? Well, that's a shame. Alright, well, we only have to endure one die from them, then. Because they each only have one die. Alright, and he rolled blank. Best of all worlds. I'm not going to use our bullets here. I don't think it's worth it. Sure. Plan this shot. And then this guy can... Yeah. Alright, plus 10 sanity for fighting. We are at very slightly positive standing. Take off. And then we'll figure it out in a second. Uh, for now, let's start by using the cost and flares. Actually, it's maybe not safe to do that out here. Maybe we should just drop these. I don't want to... Uh... I don't want to start a big forest fire. So let's drop... What? Let's drop... Probably the meat. The trade value is not, uh, not good enough to justify it. We're so close to gaining more inventory spots. Um, the costume flares are just... They're too dangerous. They're not very good. The hyena pelt is tradable, but not very good overall. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And then... Do I want to hold on to one dynamite? Nah. Alright, let's see what's over here. So we're going to run out of machetes, unfortunately. Oh, hey. Look at that. It's the village. 
Uh, so we are going to see what these villagers have to trade. Let's let's get some stuff from them. We could get another weapon. Not that I need to devote more inventory space to weaponry. We can take some coca leaves since we'll use those right away. I can take three and one standing. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll rest in the village. This night, the villagers, the villagers held a ritual ceremony. They offered us a bowl of boiled food that had a disgusting stench to it. It looked a bit like monkey meat. Yigikol was taken aback and informed us that it was not unlikely that the meat was human flesh. Uh, let's refuse, because somebody will gain cannibal if we don't. I just, I have that feeling. Let us study their culture. I'm glad we took a little bit of standing. Okay. Any prior tension was beginning to abate. They remained very polite and wanted to talk some more. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. Let's leave. Okay. So I traded for coca leaves, thinking that we would have an extra inventory slot, not remembering that the anthropological studies take up an inventory slot. I could have just gotten, like, pure standing or something. Well, we have, if anything, too much food, so as much as that seems silly. You know what? I, we don't need to be good at the game. I could have also just kept the coca leaves and clicked on that. That would have been fine. Alright, so she's maxed out. Let us have a look. How's our compass doing? 54%. Not that, uh, not that well. Not really that much advancement. Alright, well, this costs kind of a lot of sanity to get to, but I can't... I can't very well just let a question mark go. It's another village. I found another, uh... Ooh. We are not the only visitors to this village. A wandering trader and self-proclaimed Beastmaster had displayed a few mysteriously covered crates. Let's talk to this Beastmaster. Uh, I greeted the Beastmaster. This trader seemed to roam the area to catch some of the wildest local wildlife. He welcomed us and presented his selection of beasts locked away in massive wooden cages. With a broad smile, he theatrically declared to have something almighty, uh, to have something almighty God permitted him alone to trade, which was on offer today. I assume he's talking about this white tiger. That's pretty dope. We could replace Lieutenant Chauncey with, uh, with a sweet tiger if we can get, uh, some more animal teeth. That's something I'm actually, uh, I'm actually interested in. So we may as well rest in this village. Uh... Let us refuse their human, their probably human meat. Add to our anthropological studies. Sleep. Nobody dies. Nobody got eaten. I guess I didn't check them for a trade. Yeah, okay. So we could trade some animal teeth off of them to try to get a white tiger. Hmm. I don't know, man. That's maybe not worth doing. Because it would be really expensive. I'm not going to spend a bunch of resources trading for the teeth and also get rid of somebody. So let's just get these gems. Deal. And if we get more teeth through fighting, we'll come back and see if we can buy a white tiger. I'm not going to pay for the teeth. Okay, so we have here a magnetic mountain. You will notice it is uh, screwing with the compass. Hey, we actually have torches for a change. Okay. Uh, we arrived at a remarkable underground body of water. The water was clear as day, sustain sustaining the growth of vegetation, primarily many colorful mushrooms. Let's collect some mushrooms. So, purple mushrooms... Blue mushrooms and red mushrooms. Let's grab these. Uh, use a blue mushroom. Use a purple mushroom. Nope, it didn't do the thing I thought it was going to do. Where it, uh, I thought it was going to work like one of those um, tome pages of easy movement. Let's drop that. 
Panthers and Tigers, man. We can take a Panther. We have all these guns and all these bullets. Yeah, you know, let's see if we can fight this Panther. Oh, it's two Panthers. Let us add a bullet. Hell, let's add two bullets. Double attack. Cutting repost. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's not actually an option. So these guys have a million, uh, a million dice. Let's look for some eyes here. Come on. There we go. They only have 10 health, so we can one-shot this guy. And then... We headbutt him. Alright, so he only has two dice. We stunned him out of one of his dice. And we have two points of shielding, so we only take one actual hit. Uh, we can medkit off the wound. Uh, let's... There we go. I wanted to hold these dice so that I could assure myself that we would get some, uh, some decent shooting. Alright, that was a lot of fangs. Let's... Yeah, let's eat some purple mushrooms. And... Go to here. We got a lot of fangs out of that last thing, so if we beat this, uh... Tiger in battle... Things will be pretty good. Okay, a shrine... If we take the treasure from the shrine, we definitely can't go back for the tiger. Oh, Moonstones. Yeah, let's take all this. Screw the tiger. Alright, so let's get rid of this. Oh, big dummy. Shoot. I care more about you. Sorry, Chauncey. And... Hmm. What is the other thing that will drop? I guess it's going to be the shovels. Shovels are the, the least likely, the next most, uh, the next least likely thing to get used. So should I upgrade him or should I wait and upgrade the translator instead? He might die. Let's not upgrade him while he's got a wound that we can't close on him. Alright, let's take this path to get to this thing which is almost certainly a cave. Oh, no, it is a shrine, in fact. Alright, somebody should drink from it. Uh, Yasaman. Drink from this glass goblet of strange liquid. As she drank from the chalice, I could have sworn I saw a ray of light coming down from the ceiling, suffusing her with a wonderful, almost hallowed aura. Some form of holy symbol had appeared on her forehead. So she is now holy marking. Receives a strong standing bonus. This person was hallowed by pagan gods. That uh, undid the, <laughs> the the damage we did to ourselves over here. See, now I wish I'd held on to some dynamite. If I can't get through here... Okay, I can. I was going to say, if I can't get through here, I'm not sure what my path is going to be. They only want to eat so much uh, in the way of beans at any one time. Sometimes you, you got to give them a little break. All right. Well, we can try to climb this. I do want to. Let's go for it. Okay. Didn't work. Somebody's going to get an injury. Lieutenant Chauncey Eck. Okay. Well, that's... Fine, because he was the one who was already injured. Yep. Minus three standing, indeed. 
So let's go ahead and jam the rest of these. Aw, I can't eat the last can. Well, I think I'm going to throw it away because we really just don't have the inventory space. So I think I have to head north. This is going to be very expensive. Uh, if I upgrade you, what are the chances you'll gain a capacity? Probably, probably nothing. So I need to drop one more thing. It could be the jewels. This is 60 funds worth of jewels, though. Maybe it's the animal teeth. We, are, we do have nine of them. This is 45 funds. You know what? It's the torches. Uh, that's a cave right there. Probably, probably I want to save the torches. I think the panther pelt. We have 40 funds worth of panther pelt. Yeah, I think the panther pelt is the way to go. So here's hoping that this is, uh... Oh god, run, run, run. Here's hoping this is one of those caves that, like, goes somewhere. Oh, it's not. It's a thing that I really feel bad about risking. I wonder if there's a safer way to get these. If there's, uh, some other thing you could have on you. Let's leave. Okay. Well, I think that we have to do this. Oh, boy. I don't know that this is significantly better. <sighs> crap. Crap, crap, crap. Let's upgrade our translator. She's doing, she's doing good work. Uh, I don't... Man, we're going to get voided. Please go quickly. Oh, God. Oh, God. How long is the void going to keep spreading, I wonder? Alright, well, it's looking like... Jesus. We have had a very powerfully negative effect on this, uh, on this area. I almost want to go back to the boat. Can you leave if you just go back to the boat? I've never actually tried. Oh, the boat's really far away. The compass is indicating that one of these might be the thing, but I have no way to get over there now. The chasm and the void have completely removed the path because I was reckless. Oh, it looks like there's mosquitoes and stuff over here. Oh, we don't really have much choice but to go this way. Yeah, I was hoping there would be a question mark. So, I think we just have to go back to the boat and leave. We don't get our golden pyramid. This probably means we don't win the game anymore, is my guess. Uh, this would be 65. Getting back to the boat will tax everything we have left. I'd love to hit this shrine, but I think we will not be able to get out of here if we do that. All right, let's try going back to the boat. I don't know for sure that you can leave on the boat, but uh, you can leave by hot air balloon. I can't see any reason that you wouldn't be able to just leave on the boat. And we're going to be out of sanity completely for just a couple of hexes. Hopefully not enough for something horrible to happen. Immediately something horrible happened. Uh, morale is problematic, an opportunity for conflict aplenty. I heard Yasaman Tata make an unwelcome remark about the Queen. Chauncey Atki was outraged and demanded an apology, which he did not get. Ah, uh, boy, so we're gonna lose... We're gonna lose some loyalty with someone here. I think it can be Yasaman Tata. We have that thing that causes a loyalty gain every time we level someone up, and we recently leveled her. So let's chastise her and lose a little loyalty. Um, I think we're going to be okay. Return to ship. Uh, sail home. We, we done goofed. We get to take two Moonstones with us, though, which may ease the next expeditions. Yeah, I had to listen to my heart once more. Did I really want to abort this expedition? Frankly, I don't think want even enters into it. Yeah, that's disappointing. So we didn't get our Golden Pyramid. 
uh, which means that we're missing out on something in the neighborhood of 360 uh, fame. It's not the end of the world, but 360 fame is going to be tough to come back from. I mean, uh, a gap of 360. So we could go black market or we could go increased viewing distance. I think that's pretty obvious. Honestly, we're geared just fine. I just need to not make it impossible for me to get to the Golden Pyramid is all. Alright, um, sell, sell. Sell, sell. Gift. <laughs> so can I see, I can't scroll this. I think I'm gonna sell all the animal teeth. Because they really are not, they're worth almost nothing uh, as gifts. And then this stuff can all go to the museum. We're killing it on these uh, anthropological studies, man. Okay, we reestablished a, a reasonable lead. So let's see what we have available to us now. The Dead End Desert. The Deadly Jungle, which has a, uh, a buried golden pyramid. And the Demanding Drylands, which has a Golden Pyramid, and it looks like a couple of different settlements. So this might be it. I'll, uh, you know, I'll consider it. There's also a shrine here, which, which bodes well for it. Yeah, I'll consider it. Come back next time. Figure out where we're going as we complete this adventure. I honestly think even though we booted that Golden Pyramid, we still might have a chance at this. Especially if we can keep writing anthropological studies. So, come back next time and see if we manage it, and we'll see you then.